another girl, another woman, was allegedly pushed to her death in Lucknow's Dubagga area. Nidhi Gupta, beautician by profession, was allegedly pushed to her death after an argument with uh, her alleged associate uh, partner, Sufia. Now, according to the victim's family, Sufia allegedly harassed Nidhi to convert and marry him. And, and when the matter reached both families, Nidhi's parents were reluctant to accept the proposal. And Sufia's family, on the other hand, allegedly didn't do anything to stop him from contacting her. In fact, Nidhi's family also alleged that Sufia blackmailed them with videos and photos of Nidhi and threatened to make them public. And the fateful night, Sufia allegedly barged into Nidhi's house with a baton to assault her uncle. And when Nidhi intervened to stop Sufia, he allegedly pushed her to death from the fourth floor of a building. The Tiburin. Now, viewers, if all of this is true, if the family's claims are true, I'm not saying that they are not, but if they are, viewers, the apex court sounded an alarm on forced conversions and the threat they posed to life, liberty, and the security of the nation. Will then the denial about its existence end? That's fundamentally a question, viewers. The Supreme Court has accepted that there are forced conversions in this country. But with this particular case coming very quickly on the back of the Supreme Court's observations a few days ago, does this case then underline the reality? That's the fundamental point. But I just want us to very quickly listen into the police, what they said, and of course, Nidhi's mother, what she told us, and also uh, the Lucknow victim's relatives. Let's listen in. वो जबरदस्ती शादी पे बहुत प्रेशर डालता था कि मुझसे शादी करे उसको इसीलिए ब्लैकमेल भी करता था कहता था मेरे पास वीडियो है तुम्हारे वीडियो दिखाऊंगा यही सब चीजें उससे कहता था धर्म परिवर्तन का क्या वो शादी की बात करता था कि मेरे में शादी करना है मुझको शादी करनी है तुम साथ तुम शादी हमसे नहीं करोगे हम जान दे देंगे या तुम्हारी ले लेंगे वो बात यही सब कहता था तो मेरे मेरे तरफ से तो बिल्कुल सब लोग शादी के लिए नहीं तैयार थे लेकिन जब वो मुस्लिम साथ से शादी करेंगी तो मुस्लिम धर्म हो ही जाएगा तो हम लोगों ने मांगे रखी उस लड़के को सजा होनी चाहिए बिल्कुल उसको फांसी दी जाए हम लोग अभी कोई हम लोग लो पूछते थे कि बेटा कोई बात है हमको तो बताओ तो बस एक ही दो बार बताया कि मम्मी बस हमको वो परेशान करते शादी के लिए फोर्स करते हैं शादी करना ब्लैकमेल कर रहा था वही फोटो वोटो कह रहा था मैं वीडियो तो वीडियो तो उसकी मम्मी ने खुद मेरे से कहा कि वीडियो दिखाएगा हमारा लड़का आपको माँ ने भी बोला था हम माँ ने बोला की हमारे लड़के के पास इतने सारे प्रूफ है तो हमने कहा प्रूफ दिखाइए आप हमको की वहाँ प्रूफ है मेरे पास उस लड़के ने तो मेरे मुँह पे ही कहा की आपकी लड़की को प्रूफ मेरे पास वीडियो है तुमने कहा दिखाई मेरे पास वीडियो कितने वीडियो भाई मेरे पास तो कोई वीडियो नहीं है हमको तो बात पता चली तब हम जाने है और वो तो कह रहा कि इसी वजह से डरी हुई इसी वजह से डरी हुई थी सर इसी वजह से वो बोल नहीं पा रही थी बिल्कुल भी सर नहीं बोल पा रही थी अगर वो बोल पाती तो आज हादसा ना होता ये देखिए जो आरोपी की गिरफ्तारी है वो सर्वोच्च स्तर पर प्राथमिकता पर सुनिश्चित कराई जा रही है अनेकानेक टीमों का गठन किया गया है सभी टीमों की मॉनिटरिंग अत्यंत उच्च स्तर से की जा रही है और जो शासन प्रशासन सभी इसमें संवेदनशील हैं हम आरोपी की गिरफ्तारी शीघ्र सुनिश्चित कराएंगे और इस मुकदमे को फास्ट ट्रैक कोर्ट में भेजेंगे उन्होंने एक ज्ञापन सौंपा है कुछ उनकी डिमांड्स हैं और उन जो डिमांड्स हैं उनको हम जो सबसे वरिष्ठ स्तर है वहाँ पर हम इनको प्रेषित करेंगे संज्ञानित करेंगे और जो समुचित कार्रवाई होगी जो नियमों के अनुरूप विधि के अनुरूप वो अवश्य कराई जाएगी जो कार्रवाई जो उन्होंने लिखित एप्लीकेशन दिया है उसी आधार पे अभियोग पंजीकृत हुआ है सर क्या क्या दिया है ये बता दें क्या धर्मांतरण को लेकर वो एफआईआर में है आप देख लीजिए ठीक नहीं धर्मांतरण को लेकर क्या सेक्शन में दर्ज किया गया है मामला समुचित एवं संगत धाराओं में अभियोग पंजीकृत किया गया है और उसी के अनुरूप कार्रवाई सुनिश्चित की जा रही है Now, viewers, let's open this up because the Supreme Court has raised the alarm just a few days ago on this issue of forced conversion. And I want to begin with yes, Mr. Punawala here. Mr. Punawala, you, you know, you speak up quite often for the Congress Party and that sort of the 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 the, the establishment uh, that supports it, etc., etc. Now, you know, identity has been at the core of criticism. 
In many similar episodes, I remember Netta D'Souza had appealed not to communalize and politicize this incident. Now, will the Congress ignore the identity of the victim in this case as well? Of course, Prima Fassa, if all of this adds up to what it is being thought to be, viewers. And, and I want to ask you this, because in the Bulibai episode, for example, and you'll remember it, you were on our yeah. channel, and you said this reeks of an Islamophobic, uh, chauvinist, saffron supremacist mindset. Here I don't see this outrage. Now, why is this? Why this self-censorship? What is happening? No, there is zero self-censorship. Right. Any person who kills any woman okay. must get the severest punishment, whether it is uh, Sufyan or whether it is Abhijit who killed uh, no, so uh, Nidhi no. live on internet. Listen, we are talking about women's safety yeah. and that is a must. We are talking no, about women's safety when Ram Rahim is campaigning for the yes, political yes, party. Absolutely. We are talking about women's safety when uh, Bilkis Banu's yes. rapists have been removed from jail yeah. and they have been garlanded by the Bharatiya Janata Party supporters. And your we are party, talking, and and your we are party, talking about and women's your party safety went to when town. the Naroda party are massacres. Hathras, a uh, guy is out on jail, the man a convicted one second, of massacre, one second, one second. campaigning for his daughter in Gujarat. We have to talk about women's safety, leaving religion no, no, and caste aside. No, no, one second, no, no, that's Just very, no, no, one second, one second, one second, one second, one second. Just stop there, stop there, stop there, stop there. One second, let me point out, Karthi Chidamram, 1st January, bully by case. Hmm. It's an unacceptable fact that this project of dangerous anti-Muslim misogyny is back. Viewers, identity is raked up. Sure. To project one side as the oppressed. Am I wrong here, Rahul Ishwar? Am I making this up? Is this, isn't this a fact? Look at Rahul Gandhi's tweet. Look at Asaduddin Oasi's tweets on the Bully Bai uh, app issue. Look at Rahul Gandhi on Hathras. UP's casteist jungle Raj has killed another young girl. Casteist, again, identity at the back of it. Uh, Rahul Shiv Shankarji, our left liberal friends has always been invoking uh, identity whenever the Hindus are on the wrong. My dear friend and good brother, uh, Tasin Pulawalaji is one of the rare exceptions. I accept that. But let me quote Mahatma Gandhi to you. May 30, 1936, Mahatma Gandhi, the father of the nation, when he wrote a letter to Times of India, pointed out that there was a forced conversion. On the, uh, on the one day earlier, his son Harilal uh, converted to Abdullah Gandhi and Mahatma Gandhi categorically wrote, you know, he he might have gone uh, for greed, wealth and sensual pleasures. This is written by the greatest secular icon in India, May 30, 1936. And one of the greatest voices for Hindu community against forced conversions was Maulana Abul Kalam Asad, who wrote to Cardinal Gracious of the then uh, Bombay, saying that no, we should not indulge in any kind of forced conversion or mass conversions. So the issue has always been there. And there has been some instance of forced conversion. That's the reason why beyond politics, we need an anti-forced conversion law. A forced con and a stop no, will you accept forced tonight. conversions. Yeah. Right? The, there is Supreme something called forced planned. conversions, and it is posing a threat to national security. And your response is selective. I'm, I'm not saying yours personally. I'm saying the ecosystem, the response is very I selective, and it's emboldening. I rejected forced conversions. I rejected because. No, then eight why did the Supreme I'll, Court I'll have answer, to come out I'll, and I'll say answer that? Things? Eight states in India have a forced conversion law. Seven of them were bought in by the Congress. And the Rajasthan law has still not been signed by the President of India. You didn't get my India. question or you're deliberately No, I'm not. Evasive. I'm saying the Congress got it. No, what I'm talking about the selective outrage, sir. Okay, one the second. Outrage Let's open is, this further. Listen, Let me bring in. May, may I ask me, you a political question? Senior you, you, editor. But two Rahuls. Sir, please. Would you call Baba Sahib Ambedkar adopting another religion forced? So you have to balance between a no, no. forced... No, 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 between a forced religion and a conversion of choice. Please, let's not try to be too big tonight. With due respect, Baba Sahib Ambedkar's situation was different. I we understand that. People and like us and that. our forefathers were So we have to have a fault. law against but, no, forced conversion. Different. I respect that. So One second. We can only have a conversation about forced conversions. When people accept that there is something called a forced conversion. How did seven states Let me, let let me bring in Tushar Gupta, senior editor of the Swarajya. Let me bring him in. Uh, give us 30 seconds, Rahul Ishwar, you made some very valid points, but this selective outrage, this inability to see this as a problem, cutting across, I am not saying for a moment that this is about one community terrorizing another, etc., etc., it's across the board, let's for a moment accept that also. But if you're going to be selective, what are you going to end up doing? Could you respond to Tehseen Punawala? 
If we are going to be selective, Rahul, we are going to fail to address the elephant in the room. You know, the equivalent of logic gates which we have in electronics, we have something called the narrative gate in the media today. If the accused is a Hindu and the victim is a Muslim, it all becomes about the upper caste Brahman Vaad, about the majoritarian intolerance, about the kind of principles that are being propagated under the BJP government. Everyone wants to write the thesis on the principles of Hinduism, about the chauvinism that prevails within the Hindu community. But when the reverse happens, when the accused is a Muslim and the victim is a Hindu, suddenly it's all about India, the criminals in India, women's safety in India. What people are not willing to see is there is a forced, there is a pattern to things. I understand there is a problem of conversion in India that exists in Punjab, in Kerala, in the Northeast. That's a separate problem. What we are seeing here is young Muslim men luring women. And this is not one case, this is not five cases. These are number of cases which led the UP government to introduce a law against forced conversion in these cases. But what did the people do then, Rahul? They said, oh, you're demonizing two individuals falling in love. Oh, you're demonizing the idea of two consenting individuals. Oh, you're trying to demonize one community. The problem is, Rahul, that people are failing to recognize a pattern that there is an Ankit who was murdered by the brothers. No, no. This new law did the UP government uh, prosecute since 2018. Hold on, hold on, hold on. And the answer is the knowledge of this government's economy. Zero. Zero prosecution. No, no, no. There has, been, there has been there a there conviction. Is, there, there, there has been a conviction. There has been a conviction. In a forced conversion case. Hero. No, no, please. Sir, sir, let's not. I'll, 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 I'll bring that question. One second. One I'll bring simple question. Up. My one simple question. Are we going to sit here today after learning about so many cases and say, no, there is no pattern to things. I no, think there are no Hindu I women think being there should be a law against forced conversion. Are you the acknowledging the pattern? Seven, are the you Congress acknowledging the pattern I'm talking about? The Tessie, are you the acknowledging BGP the pattern I'm talking about? Are you Why acknowledging the, the pattern bring I'm talking about? Law? I am saying so who has to bring so the central law? Acknowledging the pattern. The Congress so is watching seven. So the Congress is watching seven. So you think that's happening? But the BJP is not watching the law. You're acknowledging the pattern. No, you're saying it's happening. I am saying it's not yet made conviction. One second, I will challenge. Here. One second, I viewers. One out. second, gentlemen. Gentlemen, I was challenged here. Yeah. I was challenged here. Yes. September 18, 2022. Was a listen, listen yes, to me, yes. sir. UP anti conversion law. Yeah. Man sentenced to five years in jail in first conviction. This is Uttar Pradesh. So just putting it out there, viewers. Also, right, so one, one second, again, one second, sir. One second. Please don't jump the gun. Okay. Let's not. You see, viewers, we should never be hasty in sending anyone behind bars. If that is what we want, then there will be mistakes. It's better to True. get it right. True. So let's not judge a time frame and say, oh, just one conviction. Well, it takes time. Secondly, viewers, let me tell you, there is a state government in Kerala that came up, and I don't like to use this word, viewers. So I'll use the word that is used in our legal books, forced conversion. They described it. Now, viewers, either we live in denial and let the ecosystem led by our friends here, like Mr. Poonawala, etc. Yes, was. Yes, Mr. Ishwar. And yes. I was just just two lines. Yes. Let yes. me give you two solid names of two people. One is Nimisha Fatima. Second is Sonia Sebastian. You might be knowing I'm a Gandhi and I hardly fight for Hindu-Muslim unity and whenever I get an opportunity to speak about them. But what do I tell the mother of Nimisha Fatima and Sonia Sebastian? Their children are in Afghanistan jail. They are being brought by Taliban. They have you know, gone to Syria and they have been part of ISIS. This, this Hindu girl, who's, I'm sorry to you know, openly say this, but everyone knows, her brother is a major in Indian army. And that girl right now is in Afghanistan jail, absolutely in an alien culture without knowing. It was a forced conversion. Sonia okay. Sebastian belongs and to a Christian yet, community, and a forced yet, conversion. No, no, let's see, let's, not, let's not brush it law. under the, the even the Supreme Court, the sir, today is flagging this issue. No, no, no. Rahul, Please something bring very interesting law. is happening. Okay. Something I'm, very interesting I'm, is happening. I'm running out of time. Just one point. So something very interesting is happening. Quickly. Tehseen refuses to acknowledge a pattern to the conversions like we saw in the case in Lucknow. But once a conversion, anti-conversion law is forced. Forced anti-conversion. Okay. Okay. So okay. Viewers, viewers, viewers if I had more time, I would have even talked about how the law doesn't give you license to convert. Viewers, I don't have the time right now. This story is going nowhere. Nidhi's story we're going to pursue. I leave it to this, the news are coming up.